Hey, what's up guys? I want to record a quick video for you for seller lead follow-up. Now, what I want to preface this with is I think you should probably be considering sending an email and text message that have the same message so that you can receive um, or get the lead to perceive that you are one professional, two, you're trying to collect the right information. Not only uh, that part of it, sending the same email and text message, but you'll also want to consider uh, actually sending over your um, your business card as well, because with real estate leads, online leads, sometimes people feel like it might be a scam because one, there's a lot of scams going on. And two, whenever you're giving, somebody's giving their address, think about what they're giving out, right? It's like their location, which is like the most private thing that they could possibly have. Um, so with that being said, here's some of the actual messages that some of the team have shared. And I think you'll probably find to be beneficial for you. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to take some of this information and use it in your own follow-up. Our team is using something similar to this uh, and we're setting appointments for agents. You, you're probably seeing that in the chat. So it's pretty simple, um, th this particular follow-up. This was actually shared by an agent who's getting uh, results as far as people responding back to them, as far as a listing uh, or homeowners responding back to them. It says, thank you for your request on Facebook regarding getting the market value of your property. All we need is your address and our team will get it right back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. And then what they also add is their actual name. So you add your name and then realtor or real estate agent and then whatever company you're with. That simple and then you wait for a reply. Now, if you don't get a reply in 24, 48 hours, you can send something that we used to do on Facebook. Uh, you'll send a message that says, Hey name, uh, I know sometimes we all get busy. I wanted to make sure that you did get my message and make sure that we got your home value done to, done for you. Did you have an opportunity to read the message, right? All you're trying to do is just get them to respond so you can actually get them a home valuation. Okay, so that's number one. That's uh, an example of one way to follow up with your leads. <clears throat> Excuse me, another way to be able to follow up with your leads is another structure that another agent shared. I believe Carla is the one who shared this particular structure. And this one's pretty simple as well. It's, hey name, we received your request for a home valuation on Facebook. However, your address or property, if you wanna use the word property, did not come through. I'm working on market analysis as we speak for customers. Did you want a no obligation market analysis for your home? Again, you're gonna sign off with your name, real realtor or real estate agent, and then whatever company you work with. Now, the idea behind this is you're just trying to get people to reply. And of course, I'm gonna drop these down in the comment section down below or the description section down below. You can go copy and paste these and I would save them to a either Word document or your computer, um, save them as a template in your Gmail if you use Gmail and also save them in your notes on your phone so that you can copy and paste them anytime you need to. Or you can do a quick key, which is a whole nother thing. But if you know how to do quick keys, you can set that up so that all you have to do is send the quick key uh, text, like uh, MSG1, which is message one, and then MSG2, message two, and it'll actually populate everything except for uh, the actual name of the person. So I hope this helps some of you. I know some of you are confused on how should I be following up with leads. Another thing I'll say is currently the way the leads are coming in, it's name, email, phone number, and then one question, which is, would you consider selling? And the two uh, responses are, number one is not a chance. And the second option is if the price is right. So of course, you're gonna have some people that just select not a chance. You still wanna follow up with them. You wanna put every lead in your database that you possibly can. Those who say if the price is right, then you know that you have not a a good chance of getting the right price for them, depending if they're realistic or not, but you wanna get them over a home valuation as quickly as possible so that you can move forward and try to get the actual listing and maybe come by and see them. I will say this, whenever you have the no obligation, it seems that people kind of take that and don't feel like they're being sold anymore and they don't feel like you're a salesperson, you're just trying to help them out. Like I think one of the agents in the group actually got invited over to come see the property. So adding the no obligation may be something that's helpful. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions uh, about any of this process and we'll continue to make more helpful videos for you all and we'll see you in the next one.